<laughs> if you can try to speak uh, clearly and slowly, please. Yeah, yeah, okay. Don't just worry. Make sure I understand. <laughs> okay, so ladies and gentlemen, we have Benoit Bossavi. Uh, so, welcome in the IT conference 2014. Could you please like elaborate a little more about your presentation that you have today? Uh, about my work? Yeah, or uh, your work in general. Um, um, so I try to work to focus my research in the adaptation of framework at school. So and for different kind of disabilities, cognitive and motor disabilities. So my point is to um, uh, to propose different techniques that remove the motor disabilities of the children in order to work on more specific cognitive aspects. Mm -hmm. And about the presentation, um, it was very interesting because I had good questions and, and after the, the presentation I had a lot of people who asked me a lot of questions so it was very interesting and motivating for, to follow my research. Mm -hmm. Excellent. So you mentioned like your work helped like with the children with disabilities. Mm -hmm. Could you play, like, explain a little bit more like how this process works? Um, yeah. For that to work with them, you need to work with their teacher and school in mm -hmm. general. So at the beginning of my PhD, I tried to create a collaboration with the school. So I present them the different mm, technical demos I did as computer scientist. And they were very fond on it, they really liked it. So once they accepted to work with us, we could create a um, collaboration. And then we, we discuss intensi intensively with the teachers and try to focus activities for the ch for specific children they are working with. Working with. Mm -hmm. Could you describe this kind of activities, oh. how it looks like? Uh, yes, I, for that project I developed uh, three activities related to creativity. One uh, for painting with hands, so I'm using the Microsoft Kinect, so it's a device that recognizes your body, so you can interact with the whole body. So one activity is uh, painting with the hands, so you can see your projection on the screen and try to paint, change the color of the menus, you can use... I adapted the menu, so the inter or instead of pointing at the screen, the items on your body, so you can touch your own body to activate. So, red, or left hand, red, left hand, blue, and you can also change the size. So this is one of the activities. The other one was more about... Um, you have a blurred image, and children have to clean the screen with their hands, and discover what, what the content behind that image. And the last one was about creating music. So in that case, they can play uh, musical notes and choose a specific musical instrument. And the same, the notes were attached to the body so they can do rhythmy and play your own music and play the whole song. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So how do you see the possible future like of this kind of education? Um, I think it's very hard because, at least with the school I'm working with, uh, the, the spectrum of cognitive and motor disability is very, very large. So it's very difficult to adapt all the children. Uh, but the experience was very uh, satisfying because most of the children were smiling and were very willing to play. And so we did session with two, three children at the same time. So first one during 50 minutes, then the second one and the third one, but in the same room. And when one was playing, he didn't want to leave this place. So it was somehow uh, motivating and interesting for us. So in the future, um, uh, I think we, we have a long way uh, uh, away to to install application at school because it's a very long process of development and it's still very very specific. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And like despite your presentation, like uh, what other presentation you find interesting in the ITEC conference? Uh, I really really appreciated the two keynote. Um, the first one about uh, the special effect charity. They did a really, really impressive work and it's more or less what I try to, to achieve on my pages. So adapting the technology and the interaction for children to play video games or educational games. 
So I really appreciate it. And this morning, uh, by Suko, she shows uh, different um, how to involve the children and the teacher in a participatory research design. So how to create a, a video game with them. So about the keynote, both are very excellent. And about the paper, I liked um, one focused on how the video game can focus your attention and don't feel the pain. It was yesterday morning. And, uh, and this afternoon, it was after mine, was about the motivation of the video game. And I also really liked it. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you. Yep, I guess this will be the kind of <laughs> then. Okay, so thank you. Thank you. So, yeah, you know now it's like time of YouTube but everything has to be short so Yeah yeah I can